things first, my compadres, my hombres, the updated news. So I think I covered it in the last stream about that crazy guy in New York who pulled out his blicky and killed a dad and his son um, over some sort of like noise dispute in some apartment block somewhere um, in Brooklyn, I think, or New York, somewhere like that. And it looks like the person who shot the guy and the kid and the son has been shot by police. So I'm not too sure if the police were you know wanting to apprehend him without shooting him or if it was a shootout but this is the headline i just seen on what you call it oh i have to get the screen done properly my bad i didn't fix the screen but this is the um thing that i saw just now on the old um what you call it on the old new york times let me just get the right thing here better be one second oh don't know why i did that wrong but hey what can you do boom 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 Get the chat up there. There, we're ready to go now, aren't we? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, ready to go. Yes, we are ready to go. Cool. So the update on that is that the guy got shot. Courtesy of New York Times. Update here says, man saw in double homicide fatally shot by the police. Um, it says the New York City police officers were sh have shot and killed a man on Wednesday morning, three days after the... Okay, this happened on Wednesday. Okay, I'm, I'm super late then. I thought this happened just today. Um, it says... Da -da -da -da. On Wednesday morning, three days after investigators said that he had killed her father, son inside a Brooklyn apartment, the police have been searching for the man Jason passed 47 for more than two days after the shooting deaths of two men. The father was um, Vladimir Mathrin, 47, and the police named the son as Mode Chinwe. 27 before the shooting, the city had received about half a dozen calls from Pastor's apartment complaining about noises above. What? So they received half a dozen calls from mr parsons apartment okay so he was complaining about that father and son's apartment making too much noise cool while the police when the police arrived at 11 39 p.m on sunday they found mr muffrin and his son lying in the hallway of the fourth floor apartment in brooklyn avenue with gunshot wounds to the head and torso he shot them in the head god damn it man what an absolute animal they were pronounced dead at the scene, the police said. It was particularly vicious double shootings at Jeffrey Madary, the chief New York police department, um, during a news conference on Wednesday. Early Wednesday morning, police officers used license plate readers to track Mr. Parsons' vehicle. They found the black car at around 7, 8, 7 um, a.m. parked nearby um, Bay 43 Street in Bay Bath Avenue, close to Gravesend. Ra, New York has got some really crazy surveillance, isn't it? They can track your license plate in New York little bit dystopian in it little bit it's giving a little bit china in it they can track you all over the city just with your license plate fucking wild okay um when they approached the car driver that um later identified mr pass and ran uh and ran out holding a six inch knife okay so he basically wanted to die by suicide by cop right it seems like yeah big up sarlux what's going on what's good my g um when they approached the driver, later identified Mr. Pass, he ran out holding a six-inch knife. But officers chased him to 187 Bay 44th Street, where they stopped him and contained him, said John Cleef, a, a John Clee, whatever his name is, department chief. Officers talked to Mr. Pass for about 15 minutes, doing everything they could to persuade him to drop the knife. Mr. Pass told the officers that there was happening, was not going to end well. Um, then he sprinted at the officers, pointed a knife at them. Officers were forced to defend themselves. So, okay, cool. So he basically went to die by by cop then he didn't want to go to prison um officers that he didn't give us a choice mr pass was struck three times in the chest once in the leg the police said mr pass died of his injuries at the nyu lagoon hospital brooklyn the police said that they were still investigating how many officers were involved in it whether more than one officer struck mr pass the police did not immediately provide body camera footage so i wonder if there's some psychos i wonder if there's some flipping blm psychos out there who are purposely trying to spin this as some sort of like police brutality thing. I wonder if they're, if they're out there. So even though the, the two victims who were slain in the most vicious, cruel and inhumane way possible were black, I wonder if there's some kind of psychos out there that are saying, oh, you should have arrested him without shooting him. You should have contained him. You should have defused the situation. You should have you took away a knife. It's like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? This guy killed two random people, his neighbors, in cold blood because they were playing fucking songs too loudly in their flat. The, that person was completely unhinged from the get-go. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. 
Um, at Mr. Parsons' apartment, a woman declined to come in and open the door, calling the situation a tragedy. Late Wednesday morning, crime scene tape cut off three blocks of Gravesend. Over 20, follow, sorry, 20 yellow evidence markers dotted in the street. Police officers were standing around a black Honda SUV whose driver's seat was flung open. Neighbours said the children had been crossing the street to get to school. Commuters were heading to, to work when they saw a police officer talking to Mr. Pass and before the shots rang out. Vanessa Del Carmen, 27, said that they were in the kitchen getting her five-year-old son ready for school when she heard gunfire god damn um it's a quiet neighborhood no shooting since we've been here i think that's why everyone was surprised um said mrs Del Carmen, and far a former marine who also lived in the neighborhood for more than three years at the scene on sunday shooting there were still bullet holes in the doors along the hallway um delma waters 73 a neighbor said her husband was leaving for work on sunday night when a shooting took place she said she saw blood in the hallway and that the audio was traumatizing i bet you any money man like new york similar to probably london a really bustling metropolitan city super busy every single day i bet you people just learn to just get on with life when these things happen right sunday happened probably someone came with a mop on the monday cleaned up all the blood as best as they could bleached it and then people just kept on kept on keeping on you know that's the tragedy of it like you know a whole entire family has been broken irrevoc you know irreversibly so um loads of trauma just existing up there in the air and people just have to learn how to get on with it you know that's the sad thing about it the single bullet that had gone through the front door and was lodged in a plastic barrel drum of your milk she had planned to send to family jamaica i'm very nervous i sleep at i sleep in the chair right behind it if i didn't hadn't been packing a barrel to send home i would have been shot jesus christos bro but yeah um r.i.p to the victims um i guess the only way it could have ended in a somewhat i wouldn't say fair because again people have died but this is probably the best solution really isn't it the person who un you know who without much provocation went and killed two random people because of a neighborly dispute has now been killed by police officers as well so it kind of maybe is an eye for an eye maybe but yeah force and feelings go out to the victims can't believe um that happened that was a crazy video to watch it in real time